The International Olympic Committee has said its president, Thomas Buck, has held a video call with the Chinese tennis star Peng Shui, who disappeared earlier this month. It says in a 30-minute video call she confirmed that she was safe and well. This still image of the conversation was released by the IOC. It comes after videos released by Chinese state media did little to dampen concern about her well-being, following her accusations of sexual assault against a senior Chinese politician. The Chinese Foreign Ministry has also said that Peng Shui has attended public activities recently. Our correspondent Robin Brandt joined me from Shanghai and I asked him what reaction had been to the news from the IOC. Well, not much reaction domestically because no one in China really knows. This is uh, uh, an incident, I suppose, putting it mildly, that is playing out on international global English language social media platforms. It's being heavily censored domestically in terms of China's state-controlled media, the newspapers, the TV, uh, and most importantly, online. What we have over the weekend is what appears to be a busy weekend, frankly, for Peng, uh, uh, because first we saw pictures on her WeChat uh, account, a hugely popular social media platform here uh, over the weekend, uh, showing her at home, playing with soft toys. Then she appeared at a restaurant in Beijing with friends. Uh, then uh, she appeared at a tennis tournament for teenagers. And then this 30-minute Zoom call, effectively, with Thomas Bach, uh, the man who, along with uh, his um, International Olympic Committee uh, and the Beijing government, is going to host the Winter Olympics here in just a matter of months. All of that clearly appears very orchestrated, to be blunt about it, uh, and is meant to prove, if nothing else, that she is alive and that she is safe and she is well. But very few of those questions have actually been answered. It appears the proof of life test has been passed, but it shows you how desperate, how worried those concerns were about her, that the Chinese authorities and Peng as well felt the need to do that. It's not clear whether she's being held under duress. It's not clear whether she's free to speak her own mind. Not much is clear, really. Thomas Bach said she's doing fine from their conversation. Another person involved in that conversation said she seemed fine. Uh, but at the moment, she hasn't been seen out and about on her own, free to speak. That, none of that surprising, really, but nonetheless important to note. Uh, and as things stand, a busy weekend, it would seem, answering that proof of test, uh, proof of life test. But beyond that, the WTA, more than anyone, has serious, con serious concerns still about her freedom, her well-being her ability to speak her own mind and, of course, those original allegations she made three weeks ago about that senior Communist Party official she says forced her to have sex with him.